Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sid Reddy, and today I'll be talking about Airtable. Uh, so this is the agenda. So basically, we're going to go over what Airtable is, uh, how do you set up an Airtable, and how do you create associations between the tables you create, like we do in SQLize, and how do you access the data using an API. And the thing we're probably most interested in is how do we use it with JavaScript. And then I'll end it with the conclusion, which will be a quick demo on creating a table, associations, and then getting data out of it. So what is Airtable? It's a database as a service. And a database as a service is a cloud computing service model where they provide users with some form of access to the database uh, without us having to worry about setting up hardware or installing software or worrying about scaling or performance. Uh, I guess most of you might have a question, you know, why would we use something like this over SQLize? Um, I mean, for the past six weeks, I've noticed that setting up SQLize models, setting up associations, seeding it, took quite a bit of time. And if I'm just making a prototype or a proof of concept or something that's not data intensive, I didn't feel I should have to go through all that setup process. So I'll get into more why um, their table makes that easier. And Another advantage is once you create your models in Airtable, they automatically generate APIs for you. So you can just start using data immediately. Um, and the third advantage I found was you can create, view, and edit your databases from a browser, from their desktop app, or even your phone. So you can literally see your database from your mobile phone. So getting to how you set up an Airtable and seeding. So they have two primary options. One is you log in and you create like a spreadsheet that they give you. You set up your column names, and then you can start starting entering data, which is like seeding. Or you can create an Excel offline and then upload it. Uh, I personally preferred using Excel because I'm just uh, more used to it. And the third option was they give you a bunch of templates you can use. They have like sales data, marketing data. You can just use a template and edit it to your preference. And the third step is how do you actually link the tables together? So over here you see um, a list of authors and then a list of books. So you know that a, you know, a book table would have an author ID. And all you have to do is click on the author ID and say link to the author table. And that will automatically create a foreign key on the author table with their books. And the API. Once you created that previous link in the tables, it automatically creates a RESTful API for you. And a, a special bonus is you get a documentation on your API generated. So it'll tell you your field names, example values, the data type, things like that. And so how do you connect all this to JavaScript? Uh, so Airtable has an NPM package called Airtable. And you basically need two lines of code to connect to your uh, API. And then you can just, it's similar to SQLize, where you do dot find based on a value, and it returns a JSON object. So let me just do a live demo on how we can create one real quickly. OK, so this, I'll go here. So I just you say import new database. And you say start with a spreadsheet. So I'm just going to pick my author file right here. It's done. Database created. And then you go here, you see, oh, this is my table that I created. I'm going to call it uh, author. And then now I want to add the books tables to this. So I just say plus here, create a new table, which is going to be my books. Just going to rename this to books. And now you want to link these together so you know an author can have many books. So I'll just say, define this table as a text before, but now I'm going to call it a linked field to another record, which is going to be author. And I save that. And now we have automatically a foreign key created in our books table. And now it already creates an API for you. So I just created a new database that should show up here, right there. So they give you, on this side of the uh, web page, a list of documentation for your API. So it'll tell you your keys, 
what tables you have, a description of them, and also sample code and how you can query your database. This is useful, like say you're working on the back end, but you want your front end team to get access to your database, but you don't explain everything to them. Just give them this, they have full documentation. And you can just copy something like this and test it out in Node, right? So if I go here, okay, I already have something, so I'll just do, this is a getting one record from my database. There, got it. So it's all set up already. So I think this is useful when you're trying to prototype and you don't want to spend too much on the back end. Just want to get something out for people to see. And everything can be looked at on Airtable.com. Setup is free, so I think you guys should give that a shot. And that's my talk. Thank you. <laughs>